In this video, I'm going to show you a really effective route combination that's going to be able to really attack the meta, specifically man coverage. And uh, this play breakdown we're going to be utilizing is going to be out of the Washington uh, football team's offensive playbook. And if you want to get my full Washington offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. The link is in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, the Washington playbook is really effective for attacking man coverage, zone coverage, really anything that the opponent is going to uh, send your way. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite plays, which is Bench out of Gun Tight. Um, you can also find this play in other playbooks as well. It's one of the most staple plays uh, out of Gun Tight. But I'm going to be showing you a very effective little route combo uh, with this specific concept. All right, so like I said, we're going to be going over the play Bench uh, in this breakdown. And what we're going to do is we're going to really use it. Um, to attack man coverage as well as zone coverage. So the way we're going to be attacking man-to-man -man is by utilizing this corner route from Watkins. Uh, but the way we're going to attack zone coverage uh, is through utilizing different hot routes, which we're about to show you. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the square uh, receiver here, Watts, or the outside receiver, and we're going to put him on a streak. You don't need any route uh, chemistries or route running abilities or uh, hot route master or anything uh, to run this play. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the running back uh, on this play and we're going to put him on an in route to the right side. And then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to take um, Lazard and we're going to put him on a slant. And then what I like to do is just motion him to the right a couple of clicks and you're going to basically be able to make a read. Now we got absolutely screamed at by a three-man rush, uh, good old practice mode. Uh, but what you'll see with this is this specific route to um, uh, to the, the corner is one of the best man-beating routes in the game. You're going to see right here just free form outside pass lead. And you're going to be able to beat man-to-man -man really well. That route right there, that specific corner route, um, and not the one to the right, but actually the one to the left, is one of the best corner routes for attacking uh, man and zone coverage. Now with the tight end, I will say one of the things that you might consider doing is putting him on a streak because of how powerful uh, streaks are in this game. As your opponent tries to defend this concept, they're going to have to have different zones to the outside uh, to be able to defend this. And that's going to leave this high ball uh, to your tight end over the middle. So if you want to try to, you know, get your ag on, a streak is always a good route in this year's Madden. Okay. Uh, but the other thing that we have uh, in this play specifically to attack man to man is if their user goes uh, to the outside to help defend uh, against the corner, then you're going to notice that this slant route is going to be a really effective read coming back over the middle of the field. Just free form down and inside, and as you can see right there, we're able to attack man-to-man -man coverage. Now let's get into zone coverage. Um, I think against tight, one of the most popular things you're going to see is some type of cover four um, or some type of zone because they know that this formation is generally wired to beat man-to-man. -man. So what you're going to notice here is that when you run this to the short side of the field, this corner route is going to be wide open. It's very difficult to contain a short side of the field corner route uh, in this year's game, especially with the running back. Um, if you have the running back on uh, this side, it makes it that much better. So what you're going to see is I'm going to go to now cover three. And again, you're going to see here that this corner route is going to be pretty consistent against against zone every single time. It's really difficult uh, to defend this corner route from tight. And so what your opponent is very likely to start doing um, is really one of two things. They're either going to play zone drop coverage uh, or they're going to go user it. And generally speaking, most people, they are just going to simply go user the corner route. So if I'm in cover four and let's say this is my user and I'm going to go guard the corner, um, then what that's going to do is it's going to leave this massive uh, void underneath where I can dump the ball to my running back quick over the middle or when he crosses all the way across the formation to the flat. The other thing that I'm going to be able to do with this is, again, if I am going to be manning or I'm going to be taking the corner route myself as a user, now I have a lot of uh, room in the middle of the field uh, to be able to hit this slant right in the hole of the zone, as you can see right there. Really simple and really effective. This concept, as a general rule, is 
one of the most simple but effective concepts in this game uh, to attack man and zone coverage because the user has to go guard uh, the corner route and it just leaves this massive void uh, over the middle of the field. So you see here again, just motion him out just a step or two and then you see how it creates really, really good timing, really good spacing. Now I will say the other thing real quick, the reason that we keep the tight end on uh, his route is because primarily for man. So if you think it's going to be zone, like if you're pretty confident uh, that it's going to be zone, what you might consider doing is taking the tight end and putting him on a streak and then putting that clear out slant. And what you'll see is if it's zone, now you have this, you have two seam streaks up the middle that are pretty hard to guard uh, again in this year's game. The other thing is if they're going to go guard um, if they're going to go guard the corner route, then if you have this clear out streak to, to Tunyon and you have the running back in, you're going to notice here that this slant is going to be right into a nice little pocket just like that. Okay. So as you can see, this play really does a good job of attacking, you know, really every coverage in the game. If it's cover two, um, I will say cover two is not terrible, especially if they back off their coverage. Uh, against this, but a lot of times against cover two, from my experience, I can hit either. Uh, I can pretty much hit either corner route if I have a good uh, free form or a good ability to attack it. So uh, you'll see here. I'm going to back these guys off. Try to get these clouds to play really, really well. And uh, what you'll notice here, whoops, what you'll notice is um, specifically to the left side, you're going to see this corner route is going to just high ball. And you see how I get it over the top. Okay. Now again, if they're going to play cloud flats, um, this is where we get a lot of value from this running back in route because the cloud flats are not hard flats, right? So they're going to have to now double flat, which again is going to open up the middle of the field. So if they don't double flat, just take your little quick running back route to the left, just like that right there. Now what this forces them to do out of a cover two even is they have to double flat and then they have to use her in the middle of the field, okay? Uh, now, of course, we can go to some other concepts in this formation if, they, if they're going to consistently run cover two, but you see how open this slant is late in this play. And that's why I like to motion him out. Um, the main reason I like to motion him out is because it's going to kind of give you the proper timing, I think, to hit this. Um, and then, you know, again, if they're in man, that corner route is really powerful. Another variation of this play, real quick, before we take off, I want to show you one last thing. Um, another variation of this play that I actually really, really like is we're going to take, we're going to, we're going to flood the right side, and we're essentially going to set the right side up to beat zone, and the left side is going to beat man. So what I like to do with this play, because of the way match coverage works in this game, I want to bring the running back over to this sideline. And then what you'll see here is if it's man coverage, I now have a lot of space to be able to throw that corner route on the left. Um, and then the other, so you'll see, let me show you it again real quick. And let's not get screamed at by Sin 4. And you'll see, see how open that corner route is to the left? And I don't even have like route tech or short and elite on him. So that's going to be wide open. So then um, the natural tendency that people will, will have is they're going to have to drop zone. They're going to have to go to zone. Well, again, short side corners are really, really powerful against zone. So what you'll see here is X is going to be wide open to that sideline. The wide side is not going to be open against zone, but the short side is. And, you know, again, the more, you know, the more you... I'm just saying the motion running back primarily because if they run match coverage, it's going to make this really consistent against match. Um, but what you see is that tight end is wide open on that side. So this is a way that you, within one play, can run it two different ways based on the hash mark that you're on. Tight is a really, really good offense in this year's game. I think it might be one of the better ones. If you guys want to learn my entire uh, Washington and Gun Tight Offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. Patreon members get access to all of our ebooks as well as all of our updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. And for just $10, you can get access to everything. We just released our Bunch Tight End ebook yesterday for our Patreon members. So I'd really encourage you, if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.